Hi, uh, it's me who is uh, currently unmuted and the camera is on and everything's going smoothly. I'm just going to reset my media tracker one more time. Sorry about this. Just got to reset the tracker and uh, move some stuff around. Um, hi, Kairu Star. Uh, friendly neighborhood alien strains here on Third Rock from the Sun. And right now, I am going to play some Dragon Age Origins. I am moving again, so we are good. Okay. So last time I got the elves. I used a wheel, determined uh, I got myself stored, and I got my elves. So now I'm gonna go and get the dwarves. I will be coming out here frequently, and I put in a mod so I can skip a good chunk of the deep roads, because... Oh, this quest takes forever to do anyways, okay? I'm going to talk to Barkspawn first. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Yeah, it doesn't sound very tasty. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Don't scare the. Don't scare my bark spawn. Ah, oh, don't listen to Alistair. Hey. Okay, off to Orzammar. Okay, I'm thinking this time I kind of want to take I mean, of course I'm going. And I do need my mage and I do need my Zevran. So, who should I take instead? I don't want to keep my party the same. So, I'm going to I'm going to throw in um Sten. Ours and ours are so big, I can take the others with me, too. So, yeah, last night after stream, uh, I did my level ups, obviously. I sorted my inventory. I went from here to here to get, uh, to, to put stuff in safe storage and upgrade people's equipment with what I had and all that stuff. And I came back down here to start so we can travel that way. That's where Lothering was. I am going all the way over here. And I'm hitting a random encounter. That's not good. Okay. We got this, Dan. Some warrior you are, Stan. This must be old Tigran's fields. He's always making traps. Okay. Now I'm just going to disable all these traps and get the XP from it. Wow, all, there's like a lot. Take me forever. I would not be able to battle if I did this ahead of time. Oh, 
I just want the XP from this Stan. Why are you annoying them in my mouth, Stan? Okay. I don't know why I listed that one. I'll be overriding it anyway, so I'm gonna. Must be the way I came in. So the way out is this way. Okay. I was hoping it was gonna be the star metal one. I want star metal. If I'm building up my strength, I want the star metal sword. As you say. Hope Stan fits down down Norzamar. Okay. No, remember, we're totally not Grey Ward, you know, you're totally not the allies of a Grey Warden. Okay, I know there's a mage. There we go, there's a mage right there. Steal my kill, Zev. Did Sten die already? Then you dying already, man. Can't believe Sten's already dying. I got my back pillow. Let me get that. Ugh. Oh, my back's hurting without it. Okay, there we go. Are we descending into the underground? The thought of so much rock over one's head is disquieting. Sorry, I need a mage, and you're the only one I got. Seems there's anybody named other than the Farron. took Lothering, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. Nope. Nobody's fighting the Darkspawn. Dwarf. I understand that there are elves in the Kunari lands, then. There are elves everywhere. Hmm. Yes. Well, I heard that the Kunari actually put the elves in charge over the humans. Is that true? Some of them. Only some? Which ones are they? The huh? ones who belong in charge. That is the way of the Kyun. How does this Kyun determine who belongs in charge? The Tamasrans evaluate everyone and place them where their talents merit. But elves in general merit higher places than humans in Kunari society? Some of them. Back where we began. It's like talking to a water wheel. Aaron, I don't know who you are. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a 
courtesy for one so well armed to notice a rogue merchant. So, oh, you know, I can't sell anything to you? Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfaces are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a guest, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Probably not. So how often do you restock? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Well, I'll see you later then. Best of luck to you. Don't know who you are, but I'm hoping you could buy, I could buy stuff from you. Okay, looks like you're the only merchant. I hope you're a merchant. Make us breath. Is that? Oh, I beg your pardon. Can I help? You? Yes, that is a Mabari. Uh, something wrong? No, no, nothing at all. Just, uh, you know, thought I saw something. Since you are clearly looking at me, I would say that you do see something. Well, um, yes. Never you mind. Can I help you? So, you got anything good? Well, this and that, you know, uh, used armor mostly. Nothing uh, that would really interest fine people like yourself. Is it refreshing or unsettling that this merchant is reluctant to show us his wares? That's an odd attitude for a merchant. Well, I'm considerate of my customer's time, that's all. What reassuring certainty. Yeah, well, let's take a look at your stuff. Oh, uh, certainly. Okay, what do we got? I don't think we have anything that can use that one. Um, let's see if there's anything here that is useful. Honestly, that could be useful. I want to use that one. That one for, for, for bark spawn. Oh, and I will definitely take um, that and that. Because I want gifts. Okay, I'm going to go back to the weapons. And... This battle axe is better. I mean, that'll be good, too. You know what? I'm going to buy that. I don't know if we can use it yet. But. Let's upgrade. See if we can upgrade some of this stuff here. Looks like a helmet. Okay. There we go. Canary. And what is it? What's this? He's deafened. Okay. Actually, you know what? Paragon of her kind. That's the name of the quest, so this is before I start it. Okay. King Logain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Let's maybe still let Barkspawn negotiate oh you know what? We got a new collar for you, buddy. Hope you like it. Hope you like it. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. 
King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. King Loghain. You're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Um, why have you gone on the ground? I would challenge any race to fare as well. Our king is dead. Endrin Idufin returned to the stone not three weeks ago. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. Um. Well, I'm a great warden here. Um, and I got these documents. The wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, just, just go home back to your mommy. King Loghain. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Yeah, all this stuff's happening at the time of Old Blight. Of course it is. Okay. Hi, sir. I hope so. Fred, please, sir. Just a bit of Fred. Can I interact with a beggar? I, I haven't eaten in days. Nope. I'm gonna walk. I hope party banter will trigger around here somewhere. They considered calling us the Kestrobs, but you know, it didn't sing. It didn't dance. Now when the crow returns, everything's safe. Okay, I'm gonna back to running. Oh, I should have saved. I don't crash. I mean I have an auto save problem when I came in. Uh, or Zamar. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You will not speak that way about the man who should be king! So. Such a lovely place. Uh, hello? Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Um. So, Blight? Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Trade that. A bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand, Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Ah, so it sounds like I should be talking to them, but what are paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you are lost in all that sky. They are the best of us. 
Have you ever seen this guy, man? This guy's beautiful. At least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shapereth. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay, so then I'll I'll go do that. See you later. Yes, you should. He's a friendly man. And by a friendly man, I mean, oh my god, he's grumpy. But then again, having to deal with dwarves all day long. Yeah, well, here out of a sense of patriotism, perhaps. <laughs> Hardly that. We all have our reasons for doing what we do. Mine happened to come with a set of strong hands. But, but Barkspawn doesn't have hands, and I know you've been feeding him extra treats. I've seen it. Getting good graces of Barkspawn. Never have happened when Endrin was alive. So that's King Endrin's son is Balin, correct? Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. So what do you know about this Lord Harrowmont? Advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcomed him, asked the assembly to endorse Haramont. Um, so is he actually qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. So, how did he die? He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered, and the assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the ancestors in eternal peace. Balin didn't murder him himself. So, why such hate for Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died a bed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll see you later then. Ah, uh, sorry, we got a blight. Um, if I could wait this out, I would be happy. Okay. Cast okay, so a transition to the diamond quarter. Okay, so that's where I gotta go. Well, if I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. On you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. If I see any nugs, whatever they are. Excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Sure. What's up? You look like you're not from around here. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm definitely not from around here. Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I don't suppose you've heard of something called the circle? Um, why are you interested in the circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Why do you, why, why do you want them to study you? No dwarf has ever studied at the Circle of Magi. I guess you never read First Enchanter Capelin's treatise no. on dwarfs and the non-heritability of magic. He tested dwarfs from 20 bloodlines and found they couldn't perform any level of spell casting, regardless of lyrium exposure or time on the surface. The circle speculates that lyrium in the stone shields us from spiritual influences and over time made us immune to them. Yes! Totally not because of your ties to the Titan and the, the, the physical realms. Unlike my people's ties to the spiritual realms through the Fade. 
I know things. All right. Um, so, what do you want with the circle again? I want to go to the circle to study. I assure you that desire will depart the moment you arrive. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the serpent. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of Miriam smithing. Well, I'll see what I can do. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smith Pass. Tell them I've already begun reading this Aventur Imperium Sparticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lord once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Of course I'm going to help her. It's Dagna. I can't not help Dagna. Dagna's, Dagna's so short and cute. I just want to give her a big squeeze. Greetings and welcome I mean, she is a dwarf, though, so I would have to, you know, potty train her. Those are called ears. Uh, you okay? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad thing. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging. And I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. Okay. What's what? What's got? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna sell this. I'll keep th and I'll sell that too. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. Oh, ooh. Oh. 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 Mm, oh, that's a nice dagger. Oh. But it's like, oh, 150 gold. Man. That would be nice to have with this. No. Okay, I do want this. I want to pick up at least pick up the gifts. Okay. Okay, now to the diamond quarter. Ugh. Ah, I should have saved. Okay, I should save right now. Okay. Not really much of a view. I mean, I'm sure some people like this view. But not me. Too much rock above me. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. of the hour. Lord Balin promises radical changes that will offend the ancient paragons. Have our traditions no value? Nothing I say is provably false. Okay. I'll take that. I 
disappoint Lord Harrowmont. Lord Balan is the voice of change and defense. Lord Harrowmont is the voice of stagnation and ruin. Mine is an honorable cast, and I shall drown out anyone who claims otherwise. Okay. Going to the Shaperit. I was it was recommended I go to the Shaperit. So I'm going to the Shaperit. Steve, who would dare take from the memory? Huh? Gordon, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shaperit. What have we been reduced to? Did you get a good look at him? Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in a slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Okay. No, you just got an exclamation mark. Really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Hmm. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Tide. It was lost during the last flight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. Oh, creativity. They were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the tide fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records will be buried in the Tide's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. Well, I could try to find them. You're from the surface. What do you know about fighting Dark Spawn? There aren't even any expeditions planned until they settle this election. Ma'am, I'm a warden. Assembly or some great lord. Ma'am, look at my armor. Grave warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the tide, it was the warden. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrowmont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the tide in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Okay, I'm doing that quest because it can, it's always useful. I always feel better about, you know, helping the shape Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. Hi, Zebor. So, how do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. You mean the clue, Nari? So. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. So, what's an ancestor and what's a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to paragon. A paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Okay. Ugh. So, any paragons right now? There is one paragon of this generation, a woman named Branka. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. Now, that's actually good. Uh, do you know what she is? She went into the deep roads two years ago, seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. Okay, that sounds interesting. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. 
now the I got a golem. He's just not here right now. With dark spawn. So, how do you lose your golems? The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years, they were our weapon against the dark spawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Caradon's tide is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls if you would read more. Okay. So where's Cal Sharak? Should I go there? Side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Sharak is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. For abandoning them or for rediscovering them? So what are the deep roads? They were once our highways beneath the mountains. Now the dark spawn claim them and few venture there, except your order, who enter the deep roads when they retire, so they can die slaughtering as many dark spawn as possible. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, well, um, thanks, uh, I guess. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Okay, look at the books, get all the codexes. And then I should go talk to somebody at the assembly. I don't know who I'm going to talk to. It is begun. At least they have books. Not just stone tablets. I shall do it. Oh, what? They must have to trade for their paper because I don't think many trees grow down here. Very well. You can, well, they can make paper from other things too, like dwarven hair. This could be tear paper made from dwarven hair. Okay, I got all the codexes from the shapers. It shall be done. So I guess I have to go talk to the assembly now. Uh, quest giver. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host you. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Um. Well, blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's library. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those. How convenient. So... You know, this should be more important. No one wishes this title to be Prince Balin. While it rages, Orzammar can spare no one to combat what may or may not be in the... Oh, it's a new blight. So, how can I convince you guys to help me? There might be a way. If you demonstrate to Balin that you owe Harrimont no fear. Aramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. Uh huh. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. What kind of evidence? And is this legit? Aramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers. Lady Dace and Lord Helm. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. And where did you get them? That's not important. If they ask, uh -huh. while searching the Shaper's life, uh -huh. retreat. Uh. 
I'll I'll think about it. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. I don't know how many. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Okay. I'll be very quiet. And I didn't bring Shayla with me, so we should be good. Her footsteps should be fine. Your mind has gone to dust if you thought we would pass the Dorit. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Geshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? You're gonna need all of them. Balin sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open up to the sky. I suggest you put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain... Wow, so it's like Congress. What? Just as bad. Hi. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clan. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Um. Did I look at my armor, man? Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. Welcome to Orzim, Lord Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. So, is there any way we can uh, break the stalemate here? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Doolin Verendon, Harrowmont's man, can be found at the Harrowmont estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Well, thanks, anyways. Okay. I guess I'll talk to Vartag. I hope you're not wasting my time with more dithering. The choice they gave you was clear. If you want Balin to support you in your surface war, you'll have to help him take the throne. Ah. <sighs> well, I'll do what you need me to do, I guess. I have the promissory notes right here. Just take them to Lady Dace and Lord Helmut, and show them Haramont is not as honest as he claims. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous likes to spend his time at Tapster's in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Uh huh. Seems very scammy, but right now, anything to stop the blight. I kick a bite. Thanks for the lurk. Oh, you. Hi. I'm sorry, I got something else to do now. No offense. Normally I support Lord Haremont, but... Grey Warden arrives in Orzammar, most likely to pay respects to the rightful king, Prince Balin. No, I need help uh, with the blight. Normally, I said I sided with Haramont, but. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. I am. About. I am, um. Are you Lady Dace? I am. And what business would you have with me? Um, well, I found. I, 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 I found these. In the shape, writ. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. 
it is true enough. There's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. So, where is he? He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient tide. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this boat is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The day streamer would be in your debt. Okay, I'll go tell him. Thank you. He was searching an old Idukin site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Good luck. Okay, I just want to take a look at something. I downloaded a mod so I could skip most of the deep roads because I hate the deep roads. They're too long. So, I just want to check um, what to do. Okay. Uh, so take the shortcut. Uh, you enter Karen's Cross. Okay. As long as I don't enter Karen's Cross, I should be fine. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Franca didn't go alone, Arthur. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over the tapses and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Can you believe it? Ogren's barely even wore your cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Yeah, that's about Ogren, all right. So, who, what's an Ogren? Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. What do you mean by gelded him? Well, he killed Lord Mino. Yeah, we, we got we get that part. First blood. It was a huge scare. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Instead, Stripped him of all weapons and oh, okay. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. Get it. So, why does he care so much about Branca? Uh, she's still his wife, isn't she? Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. So, she was married to him? Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith. And Ogden was one of the best warriors of his generation. So, any idea why she went to the deep roads? I mean, I heard that um, she was searching for some artifacts. Fancy some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. Well then, I guess I'll get going. If you see any guardmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. I will. Ogren was pissing a fit. Or pitching a fit. Not pissing a fit. Well, he was probably pissing a fit too. Probably booze. Could smell it on him. I'm going to go at Sinug. It's actually kind of cute, except for the, the hands. Ha! 
Hi. I'm talking to you. What's this? An elf? No. Sorry. That's a canary. You passed the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. Um, I'm looking for our Lord Dace. Um, I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep road. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they're up top. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except to, except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Then, going to the Iduken Taig. Hope you fit in the tunnels. Jeez, the doors must be compensating for something. Okay, I'm going to throw a save right here. This way. Oh, texture issues again. Okay. Maybe that'll help. Uh, nope, doesn't seem to be helping. Can I turn graphics down too? Okay, that seems to be helping out a lot. Okay. Turn graphics back up now. Maybe that'll help deal with the texture issues I keep having. I mean, I got various customization mods on, so. Nope, well. I'll risk it. Yeah, ooh. Mm -hmm. I am not going to restart again. Got plenty dark spawn. Come on, guys, this way. Come on, Seb, we got this one. How's that for a tactician thou den?
Okay, yeah, this is going to bother me. I'm going to save right here. I'm going to restart. <sighs> I'm going to start. I'm going to snap. Just um, restart the game, I guess. Usually the only way I can get to solve those texture issues. They get annoying. Really annoying. Okay. Now let's resume and maybe this will fix the. There we go. That'll fix it. That fixes the textures. I don't want to turn my graphics all the way down. Let's see what we got and if it's a manageable amount. Okay. Got an alpha an emissary into some regular old gen locks. Okay. I'm sure everybody will be coming soon. Well, I'm distracting the emissary here. Okay, you guys got this. I'm taking out the, the, the these archers here. Might want to heal up then. I want to adjust her tactics. No, you can't help me with a Zephyrin. Okay, we got more this way. Including another emissary, huh? We got this, Stan.
I will be using the mod for Deep Stalkers. I hate Deep Stalkers too. Deep Stalkers are the worst. Just because of the sheer numbers. They're the worst because they're just annoying. That yeah, sounds nasty back there. It shall be done. Okay. Okay, just versus Deep Stalkers. I'll fight this battle of Deep Stalkers. I hate Deep Stalkers, though. Once again, they're just kind of annoying. It's like, there's, there's always like 20 of these things. They go down easy. But... Okay. Hi, Zevran. Okay. I'm going to do some looting. Then I'll talk to the... Talk to Lord, the Lord. I shall do it. Don't mind me, I'm just looting. Hello? Don't mind me, just looting. No, I'm still better at you than you. Okay. Lord Dace. You pulled us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. So how does an elf come to be down here anyway? Um. Uh, this is why. I don't understand. What could? These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Haramont, but the charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now. My life and my house's fortune. Well, you're welcome. Tell everyone I know what a wretched trick Haramon tried to play. You must return now. My men need healing, and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? No, I'm going to explore further, okay? Be careful then. There are more dangerous things than deep stalkers down here. Oh, I know. There's dark spawn and arch demons and ah, oh, all that fun stuff. More deep stalkers. Just more deep stalkers. I do not feel guilty about doing that with Deep Stalkers.
Only two. I think I can handle two. Stan gets the points in that one. More deep stalkers. No, it's just more deep stalkers. I have no problem with killing deep stalkers like that. I think the problem is it's just like being attacked by, um, like level, you know, one rats. When you're like 20th level, you know? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, dark spawn is better. Huh? Yes, we know that, Sten. I am wounded. There, now we now we stop whining. And it's a poultice, you're not supposed to drink it, man. Dust. Do not get that in your veins. Let's get what I came from. As you say. I wonder what I came from. Find out soon enough. I think it was this way. I 
Yeah, over here looks very familiar. I do want to explore a little bit. We got the Steep Stalkers. Okay, so that was. <laughs> it is a fine thing we've done. Okay. So that one was basically that. So I'm going north. Taking the northern tunnel. And I was just there. So we go take the southern tunnel. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. I am I'm going to try. Okay. I think that's about it. I think that's all I can do down in here. Only a few dark spawn, not much. Most of those guys are going to be up on the surface right now. If I didn't have to do this, I would be back at camp already. Sitting down by the fire, getting warm. Planning to make sure the mages knew what they had to do. Okay, now time to go talk to Lord Helmy. What's this way? Okay, nothing's this way.
I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I'm going around in circles. I don't know. I hate the deep roads. Sure feels like I just went around in a circle. I hate the deep roads so much. This always happens. I mean, I can do this in a forest, too. That's, you know, not the issue. It's more that, you know, it's just rock. Okay, we've done one lap around the tag. See if I can do another. Oh. I should have just traveled with the dwarves. I think I'm going the right direction now. Oh, thank goodness! I think I'm, I'm I think I'm almost out. But now I can go into the deep roads. Oh. oh. Oh, man. I hate the deep roads. Back to Orzammar. Oh. Oh, that is so much better. Yes. Indeed. It is begun. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? 
there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's your no oh, guarantee of safety. Price of ten gold sovereigns, or I can't say what might happen. Well, honestly, sounds kind of like a threat, man. Are you going to make your donation to the Stranger Safety Fund, or do I have to show you how dangerous Orzammar is? Show me. Whatever you say, dead man. Your kneecaps are going in. This is how dangerous uh, Orzammar is. Sorry. That's how dangerous Orzammar is. Yes. I have to get out of here. I have to hide. Jarvia will hunt me down for this. So uh, I guess I'll have to go then. You've ruined me. If I die, it's your fault. I have to run. Hey, he picked a fight with me. He picked a fight with me. Just saying. He's the one who picked a fight with me. Is there any way to get this merchant to stay? I don't know. I'm not going to bother looking. Now she knows I'm here. I got Liliana with me. I saw another one, so I'm going to go to the other one too. I know Liliana finds these things cute. Supposedly. Find all the nugs I can. I thought it was one back here. I always think there's like a, there should be a nug back there. I know I didn't do this one last playthrough. I don't think I did this one last playthrough. I'm gonna check up here. What was that soup you made for supper last night? Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb and pea stew. Do you like it? Oh. So, it was lamb, then. It had a certain texture I don't normally associate with lamb. They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Logarine? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stew. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked more lesion style. Food shouldn't be fully imprecious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. We take our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform grey colour. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. <laughs> you need to eat more Pharrell than him. All the nugs I can. Do you see any nugs around here? I 
I'll come back to talk to you later. I'm going to just start from a new count here. Keep Severn and Morgan with me. I'm just gonna change out the other one. I once learned a symbol of woven ale. Woke up a week later in Jada wearing nothing but my shoes and a towel. Okay. Don't drink dwarven ale, I guess. I don't understand why the provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Makes sense. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, mm. and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me. Speaking. Okay, so your mother's not very proud. Got it. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Um, most humans would treat me like uh, you're, you're castless. But there are those like you who see this with concern. No. Well, I've taken the time to actually talk. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent deshers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Well, um, I just want to give you this note. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it, I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land. My house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. I thought it was going to be a nice day. Well, all I vote for Hermann if he didn't want the land. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty starting naive, huh? They're all the same. Well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. Yeah, well, pretty much a politician. Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Augrin. <laughs> Don't crash. Okay, so all the nugs I could find over here. I know there's more around, but I have to take a look up in the diamond quarter. I'll come back to you later. I'm going to go take a look in the diamond quarter. There might be some nugs here, too. I mean, nugs are cute. Little pig bunnies. But they got creepy hands. Very creepy hands. Kind of disturbing, actually. Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yes, very bad. Lord Dace, how you doing? Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Major Lord Dace is fine. The Lord Haramont is a, a weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Okay. Do 
Here you go. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. She's telling everyone who listen what a leech and a liar Haramut is. Good job. So you were serious about wanting to help us. Are you ready to meet Balin? Uh yeah, sure. Sounds very charming. I'm going to assume that, that wasn't sarcasm. I warned you, be on your best behavior. And keep your weapons Uh huh. I will totally be on my best behavior, Pinky Swear. Pinky Swear. I am not going to be on my best behavior. I want to be as sarcastic as I can be. I am impressed, Warden. Not many outsiders so quickly grasp Orzammar's rather convoluted politics. I am Prince Balin. Bartag told me of your efforts against the usurper who tried to claim my father's throne. Right now, all I want is some troops to face the blight. Then we have a common goal. We may not like each other, but the blight is our first priority. Exactly. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Low gain. So, uh, you'll honor your agreements with wardens? Absolutely. And sworn on the mail of my ancestors as soon as Orzammar is united under my rule. Of course. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. So, I guess how do, what, what do you need? You have struck a blow against Haramont already, and I thank you for that. But there is another faction in play here. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the carta of criminals she runs? Um, I heard that they're kicking your ass. They know Orzammar is divided now and has no time for made them bold. If I show the city I can eliminate such a threat, well, let's just say my position would be stronger. <sighs> and, uh, I guess you want my help for this. I'd never ask for such a thing, but if you do eliminate Jarvia and her thugs, you would have my gratitude. And my promise that as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, I have little information on Jarvia. Her base of power is in Dust Town, the lowest part of the city. And my men have few sources there. Maybe the castless will talk more freely with a stranger. Hmm. Well, I'll look into it, I guess. And I will wait eagerly for your return. No, he was totally not being sarcastic at all. Hope it's the way out. Just the way out. Ah, oh, boy, which is the way out? Okay, I don't know. This way. This way. Oh, there's the room. Very well. <sighs> How do I get out of here? Okay, just in case. Just in case. No, this isn't Skyrim, but... Poison was probably imported in the King Guild, and 
she got doted by mistake. Never seen anything this potent. So anything I can do to help? Okay. So, what's exotic methods? Ah, <sighs> dwarven register. Okay, an antidote. So I just gotta get a recipe. Okay, I'll have to look it up. That one, I think I will look up. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to find my way out of here. Very well. I want the codex. I'm not going to steal too much anything. Well, I might steal more, but I want the way out. I'm thinking that's the way out because that's got to Okay. Oh, now I have to go take care of Jarvia. Oh, man, I really hate Orzammar. News of the hour. Grey Wardens approve of Lord Balin's plans to deal with the Darkspawn threat. Lord Harrowmont, adult and confused. I guess, um, that's Fox. The hour. Lord Balin proven to be working with servicers. Dedication to dwarven values questioned. No, I think that's one that's a more Fox tradition. You know, actually, I didn't see if there's an, eh, I'm looking for next later. As you say. I'm going to take what I got down there. Ugh. No way I'm going to get this quest done tonight. Or today. Go on. I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. Well, here, here's some nugs. Taraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude. But find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I've found. I see there's a nug back there for some reason. Okay. We got a fight coming up. I think everything's over their heads. Hey. That's my future boyfriend right there.
attacking a Grey Warden. It is begun. Outside of a tavern? You call yourselves dwarves. You should be in the tavern drinking. Trust me, I didn't either. There we go. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. No, oh, I think she's hitting that. Ah, uh, can I get some info? Oh, I'm looking for somebody about Jarvia. No, I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. So you know where I can find them? Do, but it's not easy to find. Jarvia's got real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it is there. Is there anywhere I can find one of these? Help you there, Selraka. The Carter members keep them real tight. Now, uh, how about that coin you promised? Here. Here you go. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. I feel it's just being nice. Maybe she knows for the needy? Had sure. a little coin to spare, my lord. It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Well, do you have any info? What information? I don't know anything. Unless you want the names of every mining family in Orzammar. That's what I was. Before. Before what? So, some way I can help? I wish there were. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining cat family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors cursed me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. So, what happened? I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know. Tough and smart. 
and he never had to bow his head to anyone. Yeah, I know he what that's like. Castless. And I think, no, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was his son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. That's not right. I cannot abandon my baby. The shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. They never carried a child. He cried yeah. like any other infant. And I mean, if Marcus Flex was there, home, yeah, he's carried plenty of children. Kill him because of an accident of birth? An accident I forced on him? Well, I'll try to reason with him. You would do that? But why? Hey. Don't look a gift board in the mouth, man. I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promised. Okay. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Oh, thank you. Ah! Oh, you take him, sir. You know what? I'll help out, though. For oh, you're not going to take him? I'll take him. So, Jarvia, where? The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Or, will you let me go now? Run. Really? Oh, thank you. You're a, a good person. What do they say? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. Can I loot this place? Take everything of value. Okay. Hi. What's up? What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. So I'm looking for somebody who stole something from the Shaperit. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden. And I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. No, too bad for you, Shady. Ah, 
Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh sorry, I'm getting tired. Streamed late last night, so. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the finger bone to the slot. Oh, I streamed late last night, so of course you know I didn't get much sleep. And then I had to go shopping this morning. So it's like, yeah, I've been like up like since first thing this morning, and. Ugh. Doing a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go scout ahead. Let's wait here. Cut a door, man. Okay. What's the password? Hmm. What? What's the password? It's a uh oh. Balin rules forever. Haramont rules forever. Claria sex lizard eggs. Uh, or I don't know. You know what? The password? Um uh dice gum? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. Yes, we do. Next one, Shale comes with me. Okay, you guys, uh, uh, keep watch back here. I'll go scout ahead. We got plenty, it looks like. Look there, a cunning trap. Okay. See if we can get him over this way. Hi. I'm not just a lone elf. I'm a handsome lone elf. Oh, these are my friends.
Let's see if I can learn some more out. There we go. We'll come back here and loot in a second. Let's see if there's any more over here. Come on. Follow me, boyos. I am just running away. I'm going to go deal with something here in a second after this fight, I think. We work well together. Okay, I'm going to save. I got to go deal with something. So I will be back in a second. See you on the flip side. Do, 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 do. I'm back. Okay. Now let's go loot the bodies. I love how they're already skeletons. Very well. How much do I have? 80? Okay, we're good. After this, though, I should probably do some selling. I shall do it. And upgrade equipment. I should upgrade equipment probably now, actually. Was camera's journal again? Okay. New codex. Take the cheapest e item in each of Jammer, Kanki, and Peak's common chests to access a stash. Oh, the cheapest of each. Okay. Mark that one as active. No, I got it. Uh, 
I got it, Zephyrin. Hi! Don't mind me, I'm just running. See, we got this. It is begun. We got this. I'm skilled warriors. Still more of you over here, huh? Come on. Come on, follow me. Nothing bad will happen to you, I promise. I promise. Don't trust an elf. That's what I'm saying. If you're a dwarf, do not trust elves. We lie. We give for trusting an elf. It shall be done. It's not my fault they trusted an elf. I shall do it. I mean, I cannot trust this elf. Okay, I want everybody over here. Okay. You know old caves how drafty they can be. Okay, now let's take the cheapest item from each of these things. I shall do it. Uh, emerald, gold, or silver. 
Hmm. Yeah, four more bucks to the nugs. I'm gonna guess the emerald? Probably the silver. Okay. Quite a few here. More enemies ahead. Quite a few more here. If they keep falling for it, I'm going to keep doing it. Carta one by one, I guess. Three rogues and a maid and a dog. their chamber. Or not. Okay, that's the guard. That's the way. Okay. You away from your trap. You guys think you're so clever, huh?
There. It is begun. Now we can actually go through that trap and not have to worry too much. My plans are working. Shall be done. Let's take all of her weapons and armor too while I'm at it. And there we go. Defeated the, well, this part of the card is tied out. Which is very big. I shall do it. It's a trap. Okay, now time to wait for them to come over here. Okay, hold here. Look there, a cunning trap. Can't see me yet, so They tend to fall for this pretty easily. As you say. Okay. Stranger. Let me out. I see you bear no love for Jarvia. Please help me. Okay, I'll help him. Let me just get 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 the key from the jailer. I think this is um if you're the dwarven commoner. I think this is one of those things you can return to in Orzammar. Pretty 
pretty much every origin has a spot where it's like it returns, you know, the origin ties in. I think that's the Dwarf Commoner. Dwarf Noble is obviously Balin. Okay, let's see what we got. trap Zeb, you dead. Okay, after this, I'm going to return to camp. It shall be done. As you say. Definitely gonna need some time before I do the... Ugh. Brood, mother. Very well. We're actually heading to the deep roads part. Take it down with this. Very well. What if I can't just leave? Okay, you guys hide over here. I'll hide in plain sight.
Oh, I am tired. Okay. Okay, I'm almost full. Cheapest item. There's more back over there. Okay. Okay. Yep. Too easy. I'm going to say Garnet. I shall do it.
okay. I missed one somewhere. Okay. I'm back here in a bit. As you say. Not yet. I'm sure she won't notice the elf that opened the door and closed the door. Probably thinks she was just looking for the bathroom. And the silver ring. Maybe the florist bar. Okay. Okay. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it, yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Nope. Well, you took the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. Yes, and... Uh... I mean... Well, Morgan's right back there. Hardly convincing when your blades are covered in my men's blood. Kill them! But leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. I'll be done. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, Zev. Heal up, man. Zev Ren. Disabling the traps right now. That is all I am doing. You hurt my dog. Oh boy, okay, I can't take anything else from that, so let me... Destroy some stuff here. I tend not to use traps. Or poison, so... Okay, I think that should be enough to take Charvia's stuff. Now the next level up is not going to be uh, auto. It is begun. Bodies are looted. Let's 
way out. I don't want to go that way just yet. That's a shortcut out. Okay, there we go. How slow it's acting right now. I want to save. <sighs> Before I go to the next zone. Mm. <laughs> now history will remember that. Fashion history. Theater kid history. Now the only thing I can think of. Almost done. Come on, load. Gah! By all the beards of my ancestors. How did you... Where did you come from? <laughs> you made a hole in my wall. Um... Yes, uh, you should get it fixed. Troublemaking kind crawling in after you. I swear, this city is going to the criminals and the nuts. Ah, uh, you don't have to worry about the criminals anymore. I mean, honestly. Okay, before I do anything else, I shall do it. I am going to go to camp so I can um, upgrade people's equipment. And then I'm going to stay here and I'm going to sell stuff. Come back into Orzammar and sell stuff. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. So, what is going to keep you from poisoning your targets now that you have been allowed to accompany us, I wonder? You are. You would be watching me ever so closely to make sure I attempt no such thing. And why would I do such a thing? Sneaking into our good graces in order to make another attempt is what I would do were I you. And here I was becoming rather fond of the idea of you watching me closely. It would be a simple enough matter to poison the food in camp. Or cut our throats while we sleep. You seem rather charmed by the idea. It would seem an appropriate result of sparing your life. Ah, well, I am sorry to disappoint you, then. The next time I am spared, I will be sure to immediately turn upon my benefactors. With that, do. Spare a few bitch for an old man. Okay. Uh, here I can go back to camp, at least. Uh, I just want to get everybody's equipment upgraded, then I can sell some stuff. I, actually, I can sell some stuff to um, my buddy over there, so I'm going to do that. Yes, they, they're completely gone. There's no griffins left. No clutch of griffin eggs ever found again. 
No little baby griffins in the, in the fourth game. Nope. No baby griffins that I can pet and stuff. Nope. No adorable baby griffins whatsoever. Definitely not a baby griffin that I'm excited to pet. Okay, let's level up. Okay. I am going to Master Coercion. And I'm going to do a little herbalism. I am going to hit rapid shot. And just move that over here for now. Okay, next character. Stents come with me, so. Severance come with me. Um, I am combat movement. <sighs> Morgan's coming with me. Barkspun, of course, comes with me. Alistair was with me for a little while, so he gets a... You know what? No. Let him auto level up. Liana actually came with me. She auto already auto leveled up, and she hasn't come with me yet in this. Okay. So, any weapons I can use out yet? Okay, doesn't look like it. Okay, nope. Severin. Uh, I'll give you a dwarven longsword. Morgan. Alistair, you can keep what you have for now. Liliana. Oh, uh, you keep yours? Huh. Shale. Uh, 
Armor. Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> requires more strength. Okay. Oh, man, I'm getting... It's 4 o'clock, so, and I did not get much sleep last night, so... Makes sense. Severin... Morgan. Okay, Alistair. You keep Grey Warden armor because you're a Grey Warden. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll keep the fire crystal for now. Okay. Bodan. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good to oh, have you sorry, I'm moving around a lot, but I'm just trying to get comfortable again. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep the war... Uh, you know what? No. I want to get that dagger. I'll look at multi-select. Okay. I know I should keep some of the stuff of, you know, any future companions, but at the same time, I want it out of my inventory so I can sell it. Or so I can you know, have space in my inventory for looting. And maybe my dagger. Without cheating money. Okay. Enchantment? I want some enchanting than Sandal. Enchantment. Sandal really likes his enchantment. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to continue for a little longer. So I think I'm going to take... Yes. Indeed. Yes. I'll take Alistair this time. We'll take Alistair with me this time. As we begin the next part. So I'm going to spend this uh, next second uh, justifying my decisions in this game so far. Um, or at least the important decisions that I've had to make so far. Um, with the elves having, you know, unifying the elves, or, you know, dealing with the curse by making peace, that actually felt just like the right thing to do. Tactically, it felt like the right thing to do. It shall be done. Um, you know, nobly. Um, with this. I'm siding with Balin when I normally side with Hermont is neither of sides Neither sides better. You do still intend to kill your target, do you not? Is your reputation not on the line? He's gonna stab me many times. I am led to believe that the crows would never commit such a transgression. They will come after you and enforce. It has come to my attention that the crows are not always successful when pit against the Grey Wardens and their companions. Perhaps they will send someone competent next time. You wound me. I have considered doing far more than that. Trust me. So don't worry, everyone's going to stab me many times. In my bottom. And I'll stab Zevran several times. In his bottom. And we'll both be stabbed in the bottoms. Eventually. Not right now, though. Right now, it's dealing with this. After this. Then we'll do that. After I get done with this quest, then I'm going to talk to companions and do romancy stuff and give everybody gifts that I've gotten for them. Okay. Hey, you want some more nugs? You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Oh, I'm sure there is. And I'm sure I'll find them. But I gotta go talk to Balin. Let him know Jarby is, uh, sucking lizard eggs right now. And that the card has been dealt with. So I can get to the next part. Next part. And then I'm going to take Shale with me. Instead of Ogryn. Unable to win own battles relies on Grey Wardens. So he's not an alpha male. 
Got it. Grey Wardens present in Orzammar. Endorsement of Lord Balin. A clear statement against the backward policies of Lord Harrowmont. Okay. And I gotta do exotic materials next. I am gonna look that one up. See what kind of stuff I have to do. I mean, I don't know what I have to do. Do I make like a potion and bring it? Do I search out the deep roads for materials? I don't know. Do I have the ingredients? I don't know. I'm just going back here for a second. Don't mind me. Okay. That way I know it's on the map. Well, you've simply outdone yourself. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genmas. Ah. <sighs> so, troops. Not yet. Killing Jarvia brought me greater favor. Truly displace Harrowmont will need something dramatic enough to end the debate forever. Uh huh. Know of the Paragon Bronca. Uh, Smith's an inventor, disappeared in the deep roads. She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. A Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. So you hope to bring her back. I hope you will bring her back to endorse me as king. Of course. Of course. Of course. What else could I expect? Uh, fine, I'll go look for her. Then we will both go down in history as a paragon saviors. So far, my men have traced Bronca to Caradon's cross. An ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can find her. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Uh... Well, time to go find Par uh, Paragon Bronca. After I deal with this book issue, actually, you know, what? I'll do Paragon Bronca later. I got other I got other stuff I gotta get done. I gotta get some chores done. Finish putting groceries away. I didn't put the dried goods away yet, so. Mainly so I could get ready to stream. So I gotta put the dry stuff away. Stuff I can put in the cupboards. Oh, um, speaking of which. Something you should know. If you're gonna make, um, the chocolate, no, uh, chocolate peanut butter, no big cookie things. Um, I ran out of oatmeal yesterday when doing it. 
Uh, I only had two cups, and I needed three cups for the particular recipe I was using. But I had some instant oatmeal left over from the winter. The little instant oatmeal packets. And I used a couple of the maple brown sugar, or a couple of the cinnamon and spice. And then one of the other one. So I had three packets, and I used that to fill in it, and it turned out real. People seem to really like my no bakes right now. Hi. Can't believe we're fighting in the diamond quarter now. You know, this is like modern politics, it seems like. One group's like, make Orzammar great again. The other group is like, um... No, let's, uh... You know, move uh, Orzammar forward. And Balin is the move Orzammar forward, dude. While Haramont is the traditional dude. But yeah, with my no bake cookies, just doing that. Lord Haramont, Seems to be at the Grey Warden's interference. Claims no one can stop his plans to strip Orzammar's defenses. Say insiders. Rumors of Grey Warden demon worship circulate. Is Lord Balin supported by demon worshippers? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to go start the next qu Actually, I'm not going to start the next quest just yet. No, no, I'm going to start the next quest here. I think. I don't know. I mean, I got, I got some chores to do and stuff that I want to do. But at the same time... Okay, can I go... A little head on the road, okay. seen a gray warden hereabouts i hear tell that he or was that she you understand this was several flagons ago <laughs> was setting out to search for bronca on the prince's own orders uh so what does this gray warden look like stout and muscular fair of face but with a strong jaw and a bold nose surrounded by a great glowing nimbus if she's a woman, she might be more slight, but her eyes will shine with the light of purity, and her large but chaste bosom will heave magnificently. I've been looking for hours, but I haven't seen anyone who looks like that. Very frustrating. Nope, sorry, I haven't seen anybody that looks like that. staff are the only non-dwarves who've been allowed in the city lately. Does that mean that you... I'm a dwarf. ...one of them are a warden? Huh. I have to say, from all the tales, I was expecting something a little more impressive. Uh, but I guess standards are... Hey, you haven't seen what's in my pants. Hey. Sorry. I ask you a favor. 
Didn't I see you bickering with somebody? Aye, that blowhard Loyalinar. And if you ask him, all he probably said is, Oh, that Ogren, he pisses ale and kills little boys who looked at him wrong. And that's mostly true. But the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. Uh, so why haven't you gotten after her yourself? Believe me, I have. But where she was going, it's a lost tide. No one's seen it in centuries. I searched as far as I could, but it would take teams of warriors searching weeks on end to cover enough ground to hope to find it. Which I assume is exactly what Balin scouts have done. And they give the fruits of their labor to you. But they haven't found Bronca herself. And that means whatever they've got, it's not enough if you don't know what she was looking for. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Uh, man, you, you might need a breath mint. Can, can, can somebody get this dwarf a breath mint, please? Get this dwarf a breath mint. Please. And a shower. Oh, man, he stinks. I don't think he's taking a bath in a month. No, no. I want to say a decade. More like a decade. This man hasn't taken a bath in a decade. Somebody get him a mint and a bath. Kill dark spawn. Outside of that, what difference does it make? Bronca was a brilliant girl, but half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> you want to find her? You need someone who knows how she thinks. Oh, uh, fine, I guess. You should know that Bronca was looking for the anvil of the void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Tide. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradin's cross. No one's seen that tide for 500 years. <sighs> well then, let's get going. Great. Once we're there, I should be able to pick up Bronca's trail. No trouble. Lead on. Okay. And this is where I'm going to call it for the day. I'll uh, do my normal Pokemon stream, which is Arceus this week on Thursday. Um, so I got a couple days of getting other stuff done. And... Um... Maybe some other time during this week I'll do some more Dragon Age Origins, mainly because I just want to get through as much as possible so I can get, you know, so I can be ready for Veil Guard when it comes out sometime this um, fall. So, until Thursday, I will see you on the flip side. Now, I'm going to go find some way to raid. Bye. <laughs>